if you are using fragrance or essential oils within your skincare, it's basically like having a multivitamin to make sure your body is healthy and then going out and eating three processed cheeseburgers. I don't know whether that's a good analogy or not, but I've used it, there we go. Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today's video is going to be all about fragrance in skincare, why I absolutely despise it and why it is absolutely destroying your skin possibly without you even knowing it. Now I get asked questions all the time from people whose skins have a really hard time tolerating skincare or any sort of product on their skin which has a fragrance. These people will get burning, itching, a lot of irritation and discomfort on their skin when they use those products. But then on the other hand there are the other people who don't get any of those side effects from using fragrance in their skincare and therefore they don't think it's an issue for them. Wrong. You need to watch this video if you are definitely in the second category because the fragrance in your skincare and in your other products is silently destroying your skin. Let's get straight into it. Please make sure you have liked, you have subscribed and you've hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays at 8 p.m. London time and I'm also on Instagram if you want to follow me on there. It's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. So fragrance has no value in products other than to make the product smell nice to make you feel nice and generally it does have that effect but it's really not doing your skin any good whatsoever. In fact, it's doing a lot of damage. Now there are two different types of fragrance that will be seen on the ingredients list within any product that you put on your skin. One is labeled just fragrance or parfum and the other ones are essential oil ingredients and believe me, we will get into that a little bit later on because a lot of people think that because it's essential oils and because it's natural, it's good for your skin and believe me, it is not. Okay, so let's talk about fragrance, parfum, perfume first. They are the things that are going to be listed on the ingredients list of the product that you're using to tell you if that product does have a scent to it, which can be possibly, definitely damaging your skin. So the ingredient fragrance can be made up of hundreds of other different ingredients that can be potentially very, very damaging to your skin. And the brand that has put that product out is not legally bound to list all those ingredients that make up the ingredient fragrance. These ingredients can be lots of chemicals, lots of synthetic ingredients and also alcohols and things like that that can dry your skin and seriously, seriously irritate and add damage to the deeper layers of your skin. Synthetic fragrance has been proven to be highly, highly sensitizing for the skin and very, very irritating. Now, the word sensitizing is a little bit confusing because a lot of people think that sensitizing means that if you have sensitive skin, it's going to be bad for your skin. Actually, sensitizing means that it can actually sensitize the cells to other things, not just fragrance. That is a really, really important thing to remember and we're going to go into that more a little bit later on. There is absolutely zero benefit to having any fragrance within your skincare. Your skincare is there to actually do good for your skin and why add an ingredient in there that's actually going to destroy all the good things that you're actually trying to do within your skincare? So if you want to reduce your fine lines, you want to reduce your wrinkles, maybe you want to reduce pigmentation, you want to reduce dark spots and sagging skin, why would you choose a skincare product that's going to try and do all those things but then it's going to reverse it because you've added an extra ingredient that's actually making you feel good, but making your skin really, really poorly. 
So let's go into why fragrance is so bad for your skin. What does it actually do? So firstly, it's proven to be very irritating on the skin and very sensitizing. Secondly, it will dilate the blood vessels causing redness and irritation on the surface of the skin and it will also cause melasma. Fragrance can also interfere with the other ingredients in your skincare that are supposed to be benefiting your skin. Let's pick an example, retinoids. If you have a fragrance that you have applied before or after or within the same product that the retinoid is in, this will seriously make your retinoid unstable, which means that it cannot work to its full potential. And that is why you bought the product in the first place. You bought the product to make sure it was doing some good for your skin. And actually the fragrance is hindering it and making it not work as it should. Fragrance can also interact with UVA rays, which can seriously irritate the skin. Some fragrances are also slightly exfoliating, which can really break down the protective barrier of the skin. And that protective barrier is there for a reason, is to protect your skin. And if you break that down, your skin will be in a mess further down the line. Now you may think your skin is tolerating a fragrance really, really well, but the fact that fragrance is super sensitizing on your skin means that your skin can become sensitized to other really beneficial ingredients that you'll no longer be able to use further down the line. So fragrance can make your skin allergic to other things that are going to do your skin some good. So the damage that fragrance is doing to your skin happens really deep in the skin's layers and can often go completely unnoticed, which is why some people suffer immediately as soon as they've applied that cream or serum with fragrance in, and other people feel like their skin can tolerate it and they've got away with it completely. That is a complete misconception. The damage is being done, the damage is already there, and one day, maybe not now, but maybe in a year or two, or even three years down the line, boom, your skin will be in a whole heap of mess and you won't understand why. So let's move on to those products that might say they are fragrance free when actually sneakily they are not because they contain essential oils or flower oils or citrus oils that are there to give that product a scent. These essential oils, even though they are natural and a lot of people think that natural is best, will be just as damaging on your skin as the synthetic fragrance and perfume ingredients. You need to be aware of that. It is really, really important. Just because they are natural does not mean they are not damaging for your skin. So I'm not talking about oils like avocado oil, which is a natural oil. Avocado oil does an amazing job and it's extremely beneficial for the skin. I'm talking about the aromatic essential oils. Aromatic essential oils are extremely damaging for the skin. They do sometimes have certain benefits, like they can be quite high in antioxidants, which is why some products say that they use them. And they can also have antibacterial functions, but the damage that they do really outweighs the positives. These essential oils can be really damaging for the skin. They are really unstable ingredients to begin with, and they can have a really high alcohol percentage, which is not what you're wanting within your skincare. They can also break down the protective barrier of the skin, which we've already touched on with fragrance and perfume. This is not what you're wanting. You want to keep that protective layer completely intact for the health of your skin. It can also be very, very sensitizing on your skin, just like perfume and fragrance. It can cause a whole heap of nasties and can be very, very irritating. So just as much damage can be caused by using essential oils in skincare as by using a fragrance in skincare. Now there is some research to suggest that your skin can tolerate essential oils on the skin as long as those essential oils don't add up to more than 0.1% of the product. And um, the problem with this is that usually products will add more than one essential oil or citrus oil or flower oil to their products each one adding up to less than 0.1%, but when they're all added together, they weigh in at way more than 0.1%, which is where the damage occurs. 
Now again, you might not see the damage that this fragrance or these essential oils are creating within your skin immediately. You may feel like you've gotten away with this, but believe me, the damage is already being done. Your skin is a ticking time bomb if you continuously use products with fragrance in or products with essential oils, citrus oils, or flower oils. Now let me give you some examples of all these ingredients that you need to stay clear of. So there's clary sage oil, eucalyptus oil, geranium oil, ginger oil, jasmine oil, lemongrass is seriously irritating. There's neroli, oregano or oregano, however you want to pronounce it, patchouli, rosemary, sage, sandalwood, and ylang ylang. And some examples of citrus and flower oils are limonene, citronellol, eugenol, linalool, citronella, citral, hexylcinnamol, which is a cinnamon oil, hydroxy citronellol, and uh, geraniol, which is a flower oil. All of those are really irritating and damaging for the skin. So go and check out the ingredients list of all the products that you apply to your skin. Do they contain a fragrance? Do they contain essential oils or citrus oils or flower oils? Are you going to carry on using them? Are you gonna buy something different in the future? Or are you happy with what you're using? I mean, I've told you how I feel about products with fragrance in. It's not up to me what you use. I just wanted to be able to give you the information so you can make informed choices on what you're gonna buy in the future. Now, a lot of you will say, well, what is the difference between skincare and makeup? And it's relatively small. I am a lot stricter with myself when it comes to skincare because your skincare will deeply penetrate your skin and the damage will be effective deeper down in the skin if you're using a fragrance within your skincare. Also, your skincare is supposed to do your skin some good and it's not supposed to damage it. So I just don't understand skincare with a fragrance in, it just doesn't make sense to me. Makeup, on the other hand, sits on the surface of the skin. It doesn't penetrate the skin as deeply. So I am a little bit more lax with myself when it comes to fragrance within a makeup product. However, I still don't like it. I still try and make sure that most of my products don't contain a fragrance or essential oils with them because that's just healthier for my skin. If you are using fragrance or or essential oils within your skincare, it's basically like having a multivitamin to make sure your body is healthy and then going out and eating three processed cheeseburgers. I don't know whether that's a good analogy or not, but I've used it. There we go. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Please make sure you have liked, you have subscribed, and you've hit that notification bell. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.